Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching 46 Oaken and Minogatari, the Shinkaran, and if you thought this game was over last time, well, you're just like me, you're a sucker. There's still an era left in the, what appears to be the future of mankind, which we have taken along a wisdom track. Homo Dinos A, leader and our sage, rumors fly around the world of your battle with the devil, please be safe. I will try my very best. Your ship is prepared, please head into the airport. So, okay... Head to Terminal A, check your baggage in, and let's do this. The Devil's evil influence is making the planet start to crumble all over. That's what's with the uh, continents. Oh yeah, I see there's a big chunk taken out of Asia too. Maybe also out of Canada there. It's a little hard to tell with how vague the map is, but let's go. Let's walk across this lovely blue carpeting here. I'm going to the African Plateau. I'm going to beat the Devil again. Uh, it's kind of weird how they make you do it just twice in a row like that. A little bit bizarre. I seem to have gotten lost on my way to the airport, however. That, that's a little bit embarrassing. What do, what do you guys... You guys got any words of encouragement for me? Ah, uh, my beloved. If I only had the power, I would fight alongside you. I could definitely use some two-player help. It appears that a new magnetic flow has materialized to the east. Please head west to get to the plateau, okay? I'll do it for you, Dino Woman. I won't do it for my actual beloved wife, apparently, but I will do this for you. If you should fall, we won't be able to go on living. Your greatness, I believe that you will be victorious. Thanks, Mr. Dino Soldier. If only the devil's powers hadn't made teleportation impossible, I'd go first. Yeah, yeah, I, I bet you would. You're, you're a good man, Mr. Dino. I appreciate everything you've done for me. But now it's time for me to board my ship and go to the continent. Maybe this is it right here. Maybe they have two boss battles in a row. So I have to go west to find my way. I can kind of... I can go anywhere I want now that I've got the airship. Boy, they sure wait till late in the game to give it to you, though. I'll tell you what. So I can go over any mountain. I can kind of... Okay. So we can see what's going on here. Where am I currently? I'm in... Looks like I may be in North America. Possibly making my way across that land bridge so I've made my way as far north as I can yeah that kind of bears out so all right let's go west then we were told to head west because of the magnetic flow so let's let's go let's find our way I think I may have I think I may have made a big circle actually okay we will find this by hook or by crook we gotta okay there's Italy uh so she's down in Africa, right? Oh, hey, there's a little... No, oh, that does nothing for us. Probably because we're not on the ground to take full advantage of it, but... Okay, if we're in Italy, then if we're going to the African Plateau, she should be somewhere around here, correct? If my calculations are... There we go, all right. Master, the sages of each region have already begun preparations. Are you really going to go through with this reckless plan? Well, somebody's got to do it, or Lucifer is going to have her revenge. That's right. Collecting a huge amount of energy from each sage in your own body, and then releasing that energy at the devil? That's insanity. I didn't even know that that was what I was going to do until this very moment. Nobody wants to be dead, but, you know, this is something. You slowly gaze at your disciples. They're a, <laughs> they're a good bunch. They're, you know, they're good eggs. They, they really... Bunch of stand-up guys and gals. You give them a small, quiet smile before you start walking away. Here we go. We're going to get on our ship, and we're going to do this. Head to the top of the plateau in the center elevator, Sage. All right. I will make all the best effort to do that. I should talk to some people along the way. The planet is screaming in agony. Violent storms, earthquakes, raging floods, terrible sitcoms. This is the devil's work, to be sure. Oh, don't be worried. I've got this. I can handle this. I just hope I know when to save my game properly. Sage, I pray that you'll come back alive. We'll follow you no matter what happens. All life on this planet is in prayer. They pray for you and you alone. Yes, send me those prayer thoughts and prayers. That's they actually might be useful in this case. Please step into the light. All right. Not before saving my game, however. I'm going to do that first, in case that takes me just straight into the devil's face somehow. Alright, we've teleported. Alright. Step inside, everyone is already here. So all the sages have arrived. 
They're preparing to give me their power. I wonder how wonder how well this is going to go. All that remains is for you to rise into the air by telekinesis when the devil appears and then blast her with the energy collected from around the world. You know, it occurs to me, now that I do this, this might actually be an epilogue of some kind. Will I actually have a fight here? That I don't know. Will the devil really come down at this spot? I'm anxious. I think she will. Well, we've got Evo jeans. Is there... Is there anything we can do? We can actually evolve in directions! Not that, uh... Okay, so we can actually... Okay. So we might want to pump some. I didn't think we'd be able to evolve at this point. It wasn't even something that crossed my mind, really. So... Where do we want to go with this? We have evolved in a wisdom direction as a race. But now, now might be the time to pump into attack. Very complicated little evolution tree over there on the right, by the way. How do I want to do this? I want to go... I think I want to give myself some attack and endurance, maybe. Because I don't think I'm going to get desperate attacks. If I can still evolve, if I can still increase my stats, I feel like there's... I feel like there's a reason for this, and I feel like that reason is I'm going to be fighting again. So I'm going to go ahead and put in for, why not, 500 points of attack. I think that should bring us down to 880. Okay, and then let's go the same amount over on endurance. And then... Just pump the rest into life. We could use a life increase. That sounds about right to me. Yes. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, are there Gaia hearts elsewhere that I missed? I should. Uh, I should maybe look around. People are just leaving stuff laying out on the floor. So let's go. Hello, America's representative. We're coming to you live from the Grand Canyon, Inca Ruins, and Niagara Falls. Everything's ready here, Sage. Take it easy. Yeah, the American, very chill about everything. Everybody here is very worried, but everyone in America, chill as usual. This is Tibet, the Great Wall of China and India here. We've got billions of people gathered around us. <laughs> Where the acid rains never stop, this is the European division. You may want to work on that uh, slogan. That's not really pumping up your tourism industry, I don't think. We're right next to the receiver location, so the signal should be strong. But the sandstorm should be getting too strong. We could get buffeted by sand. This is the Ayers Rock transmission point. Sky looks wrong. Ayers Rock is also a strange color. Sage, go get a mate. All right. All right. This is the president of the world government. Pumping live from Antarctica. You're the only one who can save the planet. Uh-oh. Somebody went down. What is it? What's wrong? What's wrong with the sky? Oh, this is going to be... Well, that's frightening. There were no shimmering stars in the heavens, nor any hint of blue. Yeah, none that I can see either, for sure. There was only the upper body of a massive woman, covering all. Fear filled your entire body. It's her! You knew your enemy by instinct. And also the fact that you just fought her, you know, one episode ago. This was the devil! I've returned... Uh-oh. So this is going to be even harder than the last one. Uh-oh. This is... This might... Is this where it gets bad right here? Enjoy these last few moments of life you have left? Because I'll kill you all soon. Oh, hey. Here we go. This is, a uh, Clearing your mind. You waited for the energy from the other sages. <gasps> the energy isn't coming. Is everything okay? Oh, nutter butters. Well, it'll just become the even grander canyon if it crumbles, right? And doesn't seem like such a bad thing monsters from the sky everywhere nobody can concentrate their energy on giving it to me i will say uh she has gotten a better haircut in sixty thousand years that's a that's a nice little do she's got going there ah yes the african representative can see her uh-oh the grounds the people oh no they've taken the white house you know it makes sense that they put antarctica with the White House, with all the snow and stuff. Good camouflage. The Devil's Minions have taken over Parliament. Oh no. I'm on my own here, aren't I? 
I've seen through all of your schemes. Now it's time for you to die. Um, escaping would probably be a bad look considering everyone's counting on me right now, but I'm going to do it. It's no use. You're not strong enough. Okay. You fainted. Your body was smashed into tiny pieces and your vision faded to black. You can hear the devil's distant laughter. Hold. 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 We're getting something. Somebody else is on the way. Hold it together. Just keep it together for one minute. This is Gaia asking you to do this. We haven't heard from Gaia in a hot minute. She's been off backpacking through acid rain Europe. But now she realizes her time has come. She's back. Your spiritual body isn't dead yet. Cheer up now. Uh-oh. Oh, well, if she... If Guy is back for me, then the devil probably knows it too. Oh, get thee behind me, Satan. I like the sass. Oh boy, here we go. Whoa! Oh no, hey. The Lunarian Museum. We love that place. Oh, good God almighty. That is frightening. They're sisters. Ah, I should have known. A voiceless sorrow rushed through space all right well tell me everything kobe smolders how what's going to happen now so there's that final boss music again i've lived alongside you for 4.6 billion years that's right i am the planet earth and i shepherded you along through evolution and when i thought you were all better i finally took the time to do me and i started in how i met your mother and it ran for nine seasons they beefed the ending pretty hard, but it was still a fun experience for everybody. By order of the Supreme Being, I was to hide my existence until you're kind of developed fully. I think that's done. Pretty sure. You're looking pretty good. You've grown enough. She's been there the whole time. Watching, watching, watching. In that time, the devil deceived the peoples of the solar system and destroyed their planets, devouring what was left when she was done. And my elder sister, Lunar, the moon, my sister in this solar system. Oh, okay, the moon was Gaia's sister. Thank goodness, I thought Lucifer was related to Gaia somehow. That was my misunderstanding. My bad. The time has come to put our powers together and defeat her. Please accept my power. Within me is the power of all who lived and died here over the past 4.6 billion years. Countless balls of light flew from Gaia's body and into your own. Okay, this is rad. I'm enjoying this. Let's do this. Let us defeat Spider Tentacle Seven Winged Lucifer True Form. Can we grasp the true form of this attack? I'm having a little trouble with it. Okay, here we go. Alright, so now maybe I should have saved before I popped in here. Alright, so what does everything do? This is going to be kind of trial and error at first first i feel like dinosaur power is going to be the hard attack so she was struck by dinosaur's life's power she used the power of jupiter you were held in place by immense pressure you can't move okay so she lowered my defense i was struck by lightning okay so this is going to be another very difficult okay so which one is going to be the healing one so let's see i didn't pay attention i didn't see if using those planetary powers lowered her defense or not or lowered her life count. So I need to find the one that heals me. Mammalian's life powered penetrator. So Mammal lowers her defenses. That's probably not... Okay, she raised her defenses in response. So that was basically a free turn. Um, fish, power of the ocean. Is that healing? Okay, good. All right, yes. She used the power of Mars. Dark flame scorched you. That hurts uh, a fair bit. So Jupiter stuns me. Mercury scalds me, lowers my defense, strike me with lightning. That's bad. I was struck by lightning again. Wow. Okay. How are we going to do this? So, a lot happened, and I just immediately forgot which one healed me. That's fish power, right? Yes. I felt revitalized. Good. So, I, it, looks like, it looks like using all those powers is, is helping. It, it is taking away from her abilities so i think the fish power is going to be oh god yeah this is gonna kill me before it's not so so i need to see i need to maybe see so she does mars 
Yeah, and then she uses Jupiter so that I can't move, and then she uses Mercury. Yeah. My defenses are lowered. She uses the moon and strikes me with lightning. That's going to kill me before she even gets to use it twice. So, yes. A whole nother round of strategy and good times ahoy. But here we are right here at the end. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and save right there. And, uh, okay. Time to figure out another devil battle. This one... This one doesn't seem like we're going to get by on just offense and healing. We may have to do some other things as well. All right, we're going to start with reptile power because that increases our defense. This combo right here is the one. Oh, that's nice, though, that we nimbly dodged Jupiter power because maybe we can get our guard up some more. My guard is now much stronger. Okay, my defenses were lowered. I'm going to take a few turns to... Uh, all right, I'm going to try doing that a lot and seeing how much... Okay, that does way less damage now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do Dinosaur Power to start hitting. Okay, the Power of Mars, Dark Flames are going to scorch me. That's about 900 less than they've been doing, but this is still going to be really tough. See, this is what sucks right here. So, you kind of have to know when she's going to use the Power of Jupiter because she's going to do this awful combo... Yeah, uh-huh. And then Dark Flames are going to scorch me. That's going to hit even harder. So basically, I have to use Reptile Power. Okay, good. Yeah, so I think I have to, like, manipulate it into... Alright, I'm going to... Then I'm going to heal. She uses defenses in roughly the same order each time. She uses abilities in roughly the same order. So if I do a Dinosaur Power right now... Yeah, she's gonna get she's gonna hit me with Mars. And then I think she's going to now I think this is the time to use Rep. After she uses Mars, she'll try to use the power of Jupiter on me. And it looks like reptile power is the only thing that can help me with that. You nimbly dodged it. So this is when I have to use fish power to revitalize. She uses the power of Mercury and lowers my defenses. I get hit by the moon lightning twice. I'm going to go ahead and do fish power again. Okay, because she's going to use the power of Mars, and that one really hurts. Oh, see? Shoot. Yeah, because I have two turns of being healed by fish power. So if you get caught in the power of Jupiter, you're pretty much screwed. So I'm going to go ahead. Maybe I can still... Maybe I can still pull this out. Oh, I did the wrong one. I didn't realize she was on Mars. So yeah, there's definitely an order to this. It looks like this can be manipulated. Okay, so if you somehow get out of sync, you can use the power of Mammal to lower her defenses. It'll confuse her, and she will raise her defenses, and that'll kind of get you out of the loop, I think. Let's see what happens now. Okay, so she uses Mars. Dark Flame Scorch me. That does suck. No, that's not what I meant to push. Oh, good. I dodged it that time, though. All right. So my defenses were lowered, but this is the time to use Dinosaur. Time to get in a big hit. Okay, I was struck by lightning. Okay, that's going to hurt twice. So now she's going to use Mars. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and Mammal her. Okay, that might make her use Saturn. Okay. And then I'm going to use Reptile Power to hopefully guard... Oh, yeah. Okay, so Saturn... Okay. That just kind of gets her out of the mode of... So she takes a minute to dump out of the pattern. Okay, good. I nimbly dodged Jupiter Power. Now that I'm on top again, I'm going to take some time to get her underneath me in life. Uh-huh. Moon struck by lightning twice. I'm going to go ahead and fish power it. As long as I don't get... Okay, I'm going to gain some life. Power of Jupiter. I'm held in place. That sucks. Okay, and then she's going to use the moon to get me... 3,000 per! Oh my god. Yeah, I've got to get out on top of that. But I think I've got to turn without Jupiter here. Well, Mars is right before Jupiter, so... I'm held in place by pressure and I can't move. It is really hard to manipulate this. This, That Jupiter-Mercury-Moon combo is the killer. That's the one that sucks. And 
I got closer this time. <sighs> this fight feels luckier than the last one. Like, rely this. Blah, 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 blah. This fight feels like it relies more on luck than the last one did. The last one felt like I had sound strategy. I could go in and do my thing. This one, you're just kind of hoping you don't get hit by the power of Jupiter. Okay, now we've got stun power thanks to Amphibian. That's really good. Let's see how long she's stunned. She gets hit. She's stunned. I'm just going to try to get her on... How many turns is she stunned for? She's stunned for a while, so I could probably use the first couple of turns to do fish. She used Mars power. Okay, I think we might be... Okay, she, now I can't move, but she's way under me. She's going to use that moon power, though. I know it. Okay, so I think the way to recover might be to stun her with amphibian power. Do fish power to recover. Okay. I'm wrapped in fish life. Then I have time to do a dinosaur attack. Okay, that is a sound strategy right there. Okay, she used the power of Mars to scorch me. I'm going to stun her with amphibian power. There we go. Here's a plan that could work. I just have to hope... Okay, she's still stunned. I'm doing very well right now. Now's the time to hit her with a dinosaur attack. I, She might heal at this point. Yeah, that's going to heal her. Not a whole lot, though. I'm kind of impressed. Okay, I'm going to hit her again with dinosaur power. She's wrapped in a golden light. Hit her with dinosaur. Okay, so she used the power of Jupiter. Okay, I might have seen that coming. I maybe should have used an opportunity to get out in front of that. Because just like that... Okay, Amphibian Power clung to her body. Okay, she's stunned, so that gives me time to... That gives me time to go fishing for health. Yay, okay. She's stunned. She's stunned. What to do now? I think I need to let her wing stuff at me until I have enough... Until she has enough where I can just kill her in one shot. That's kind of what I had to do with... Uh, that's kind of what I had to do with the first form of Lucifer. So I think I want to take some time maybe to lower her defense. Okay. She might use Saturn power at this point. Yes. There we go. She raises her defenses and then I amphibian stunner. Okay. This could kind of get in, this kind of could get in a loop though. Let's all right. This will uh, counteract some defense lowering though. Is she about to come unstunned out of this? I think maybe. I'm going to go ahead and... Do fish power. I'm going to heal. She's going to come back from it. Okay, no, she's not actually. Okay, so Dark Flame scorched me. That did hurt, but I'm going to Amphibian stun her. Oh, she dodged the Amphibian stun. That's no good. And then she healed. Great. Now she's now she's back on top. I'm going to go ahead and well I'm gonna try that again. That was just bad luck on my part. So fish power it is. I think I've got a way forward though, so Okay, she's still stunned. Hit her with a dinosaur power. Okay, that did hurt more this time. That's very good. So she lowered my defenses. She dodged the amphibian power. Dang it, but Okay, that's just a moon hit. I think I can handle a moon hit, as long as amphibian power doesn't miss twice. Okay, so I kind of have to get lucky with my amphibian stuff, too. Okay, she's stunned, and I'm way on top, so I'm going to use my stun time to just hit her with dinosaur power. Hit her with dinosaur power. Hit her with dinosaur power. Yes! Oh, okay. Well, that was also satisfying in its way. Very good. With an eerie death rattle, the devil shattered into atomic trash. That's right. That's exactly what you are. You're atomic trash. Now, don't come back no more. 
You've won. No thanks to the sages, who abandoned me at the worst possible time. I had to rely on my friend Gaia, calling in a favor from six billion years ago. So now we're in the celestial epoch. You finally defeated the devil using all of your strength, but you no longer have a body to return to because it shattered to pieces. As you floated in Earth's orbit, you felt your consciousness begin to merge with Gaia's. That's who we were truly meant to be with all along. You felt Gaia's gratitude and intense love fill your soul. Aww, that's so sweet. That's when you realized you were freed from the shackles of solitude. All this time, been running around, trying to make sure evolution on this planet went right. But I was alone the whole time. That was the really big problem. Below you are people shuddering in fear all over the surface of the earth. You float slowly down to them. And I reassure them that everything is going to be alright. The cries from within their souls fill your mind. They fill me with such pain. Oh god, the Great One is never coming back. I don't want to live anymore. People can't even stand to live on this planet if they don't have my beautiful face to look forward to every day. All of our sages are dead. What's gonna happen? What should we do now? I don't know. Maybe you have the choice to make for yourselves now that the devil doesn't come back every few thousand years or so and influence things. When you trying to talk to the people, what happened? Gaia's consciousness flowed into the minds of everyone on Earth. Your mind was linked to theirs as well. You felt mutual understanding and tranquility spreading through them. My beloved humans, there is no longer any- Ah, Gaia's on the loudspeaker now. She doesn't just talk to me anymore. We've defeated a very nasty fate indeed. Physical evolution ends here and now. It's time to free yourselves of the shackles of those meatbag bodies. With our minds and hearts as one, a new form of evolution will begin. Now let us go. We depart together for a new world. Earth is trash. There's a planet way out beyond the galaxy. Oh my god. So is the Earth going to become like a ship? Maybe the Earth will take off and... Like it'll be a colony ship and... It's glowing. It's glowing. I don't really know what's going to happen. Okay, good. It glowed harder. I thought maybe that was just... The Earth glows forever and then that... Whoa! Whoa! A new tale of 4.6 billion years begins. One without the influence of devils or moon men or crystals or anything else. Perfect evolution can now take place. So that is 46 Okanen Monogatari, the Shinkaron. Interesting game. Interesting game. I'm glad I played it. I don't know if I like it more than EVO, The Search for Eden, but it definitely feels like more of a first draft. Like, they got all this crazy stuff, they threw everything at the wall, seeing what would stick, and then once they kind of had it out there, they're like, you know, we could do this again, but we could do it better. We could kind of distill it down, take out all the weird devil stuff. Uh, maybe just make aliens indirectly responsible for evolution. Uh, just messing with the fate of, of evolution on Earth with the crystals indirectly. And then kind of learning their lesson without having to... And then you have the bad guy of Bullbox who, you know, takes the crystals way too seriously. Who's like King Otaku nerd who thinks he's going to be with Gaia forever. Thinks the... Perfect form of evolution is a giant protoplasm with a pseudopod sticking out. So, Dinosaur Facts and Myths by Nito Shoin. Well, that's very cool. You have your you have your researchers here. Very cool. I I am glad I played this game. I I would recommend it to you as well. Uh, if, especially if you liked EVO The Search for Eden. If you didn't really like EVO The Search for Eden, I can't, 
I can't imagine you're gonna like this all that much unless you just really like turn-based RPGs and can't get enough, but this isn't a bad game. It's just a little off the wall and not as clean as EVO The Search for Eden, which is, you know, the really nicely put together game that you can see why EVO Search for Eden rose to cult status. And this is kind of a weird obscurity type of thing. I think, I think I captured it really well by calling it a first draft. That's what it is more than anything. This is a first draft of Search for Eden. Uh, good job, Enix. Very cool game. And I'm really, I'm really pleased with it. I had a good time. I hope y'all did too. Except for that middle stretch of episodes where the audio wasn't high enough. Uh, sorry again for that. But... There we are. That is all for EVO, The Theory of Evolution, 46 Oknen Monogatari, The Shinkaran. I will see you guys next time for another Lemmings project. We're going to get back to Lemmings, but that one is going to be decidedly shorter than Redux.